Hey everyone, this is Mary Demuth, and this is Pray Every Day, where I pray you through the Bible verse by verse. Hope you're having a great January 17th. Um, to, this is Reader's Month, and so we are uh, going to hear from Martha, and she says, Good morning. I've just listened to your latest podcast, which came out Sunday. Being in the UK, I listen one day behind so I can listen to it before I get ready for work. I really value everything that you're doing to help people become closer to our Lord. And I love doing the journaling alongside the podcast. Martha, thank you so much. And for those of you who don't know, I do have these little journals that you can get on Amazon. And uh, I think the way to get to them is, I think you would write in Pray Every Day Journal. And they, I have four of them, and they're just blank journals that um, you can write down the verse of the day and maybe some of the prayer requests you have. And yeah, so you would just go to Amazon and just Pray Every Day Journal, and you should be able to find them. They're very affordable. Um, Anyway, thanks, Martha. And today we are in Micah chapter 3, verses 8 through 12 in the NLT, New Living Translation, and this is what it says. But as for me, I am filled with power, with the Spirit of the Lord. I am filled with justice and strength to boldly declare Israel's sin and rebellion. Listen to me, you leaders of Israel. You hate justice and twist all that is right. You are building Jerusalem on a foundation of murder and corruption. You rulers make decisions based on bribes. You priests teach God's laws only for a price. You prophets won't prophesy unless you are paid. Yet all of you claim to depend on the Lord. No harm can come to us, you say, for the Lord is here among us. Because of you, Mount Zion will be plowed like an open field. Jerusalem will be reduced to ruins. A thicket will grow on the heights where the temple now stands. Mind if I pray for you? Lord Jesus, I thank you that in the Old Testament you uh, filled those prophets with your Holy Spirit. And that reminds me of just the beauty of what it is to walk in the age of grace. Um, Your Spirit uh, lit on people in the Old Testament and stayed and remained and then lifted. Um, And so there was this possibility that the Spirit could be removed at any moment. And yet, Uh, Now, um, when you cautioned your disciples, you said, wait and stay in Jerusalem so that you can be baptized with the Holy Spirit to get that power from on on high. And then we hear about um, these tongues of fire that settled on the believers and they started to prophesy and say things in other tongues and praise God in different languages. And it was just this great move of the Spirit. And that's the beauty of our relationship with you right now is that the Spirit is within us and remains with us. We are now the temple of the Holy Spirit. And Lord, help us just to just to stop and rest in that right now. The, the amazingness of that, the power of that, the, the audacity of that, that me, who's just a broken girl, who you know desperately needs Jesus can be have housed the Holy Spirit in my heart every single day. That spirit who is the spirit of truth, the comforter, the great comforter, the paraclete, the one who comes alongside. Lord, this is a privilege and we thank you for it. So I thank you that you did fill the prophet Micah with your power, with the spirit of the Lord, but I thank you even more that I am filled with power, that those listening today are filled with power, that they are filled up to the brim with the spirit of the Lord, that we can be filled. Would you fill us, Lord, with justice and strength, that we could boldly declare um, what is right and just and good. Lord, again, I pray for the leaders of your church around the world. If there are leaders who are acting in the way that Micah is prophesying, laying uh, their ministries on a foundation of murder or corruption or based on money or bribes, um, will not preach or prophesy unless they're paid, um, Lord, we pray for a holy house cleaning of your church. And Lord, let it begin with us because it's easy to pray for those other people that, oh, that judgment would come, but it's hard to say, let judgment begin with me. Your word says that judgment begins in the house of God. And so we do ask for that, but we also ask that you would search our hearts and know what was in us and to lead us in the everlasting way. Lord, because of your spirit within us, we are led by you. And Lord, I pray against those lies that we've been believing that we're not your children. The truth is we are your children. 
children and you have made a way for us to be in the family of God. Help us to rest in that today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thanks so much for listening to Pray Every Day. Some of you may know this, some of you may not, but you can actually listen to this podcast on your Alexa device. It's in the Alexa skills. And so if you just go to amazon.com and click on Alexa skills and write Pray Every Day, you will find it. It's free. And uh, every day you can just say, hey, Alexa, I want my pray. I want to uh, listen to Pray Every Day and it will pop up. So kind of cool. Um, anyway, I hope you have a great day and you are loved and may you be blessed today with the presence of God as he moves in and through you.